people how's it going today well look at those clouds man don't they look cool there's some thunderheads that have built up some rain that has passed through hopefully we did run through a little bit of it but it was going towards the north and we are headed back to DFW An area got a drop there in the morning and a second drop over in a oh hell somewhere over there I need to look I need to write it down but uh, we just come off a four-day break I had to get a another medical card done so I had to get a DOT physical we passed that and I had to get a uh, inspection on my truck and uh, we passed that so we are good to go we went and uh, picked up a load over by New Mexico we are now in uh, Quanta Texas taking our 30 minute break try to get some clip time in you know before the Sun goes down I haven't done a video in a while so but uh, <clears throat> I watched a video earlier. I think that guy, what's his name, Red Viking Trucker, was, I guess he's down in the oil field in Midland, all on sand or something. But uh, he was saying that uh, <clears throat> that the rates are going down in the oil field. But usually when they go down, they go down for everybody. You know, if you... Well, I mean, crude oil and, and hauling sand and whatnot, they'll go down for. And it got me thinking, you know, I, I talked to a buddy of mine while I was off, and just by coincidence, haven't seen him in, you know, a month or two, so I asked him if he wanted to come by, and, and uh, and we bar barbecued some steaks, drank some beer, and uh, yeah, he told me that uh, his plans were changing. He's a driver also, and he hauls crude oil, you know, and I, I used to haul crude oil. I hauled gas and crude oil, so, <clears throat> and he was telling me that uh, he is changing from crude oil <coughs> up in the Granite Wash to uh, going down there to Midland to haul water. And, uh, yeah, that's what Red Viking Trucker was talking about on his video today, so I thought I'd chime in and make a video and tell you about what my friend is doing. He's going to go do that. I asked him, you know, uh, I mean, what's your motivation? And he's like, well, I'm going to make more money. I'm like, really? Yeah, he told me the ins and outs about it. Basically, he's uh, he's going to be making twenty one. I forget what he told me. Twenty one, twenty two dollars an hour. Uh, he'll be on a ten ninety nine. He'll have to pay his own taxes and everything. But being a contractor, he can he can uh, deduct his expenses. You know, he can do a uh, per diem. Deduct his expenses for his food. And also, you know, any equipment that he buys. Now, he doesn't have his own truck. He is a, uh, as of right now, he's a company driver, but he's going to contract for a 1099 position hauling water for a, a fleet owner down there in Midland. So, he said it's a good opportunity for him to uh, go down there and make some money. You know, he's got some bills to pay, and who doesn't? You know, I you know. I'll I agreed with him, you know, if he's if he can make more money doing that, then uh, if he's able to do it, then that's what he needs to do. And I asked him if he's going to move there, and he said no, that the uh, the uh, company that he's, that he's contracting with, they're, uh, that he'll be in a sleeper truck, so, and they're getting that, they're prepping that truck for him now, and, uh, 
once they tell him that truck's ready, he can give us two weeks notice and then go down there. They actually should tell him, you know, two weeks before the truck is ready. That way he can give his notice and then go down there and then start running. Uh, well, he wouldn't have to wait to give us, you know. But anyways... Yeah, $21, $22 an hour. And believe me, he's going to be putting in about probably 90 hours a week. He's going to be, you know, working in the working in the field in the patch. And a lot of you guys know those patch hours. <clears throat> you know, 24 reset, 8-hour eight eight hour break. Uh, so... He's going to be humping it, you know. He's going he, he's going to be working. They're going to work him. But I know he's a hard worker. I've worked with him before, so and uh, I think he's going to he's going to do all right down there. Now, I don't think that uh this this rate fluctuation that's the way it is in the oil field, you know. I hauled crude and uh you'll have your good months and then all of a sudden, you know, you won't make as much money, so that's just the way it goes, you know, in the oil field. But they don't really affect water haulers that much, you know. I've never heard of it affecting water haulers. You know, they're usually paid by the hour, and that's that's what he's that's what he's getting paid. He's getting paid by the hour, and he will be making time and a half on overtime. So, I mean, you guys can add that up at twenty-one, twenty-two dollars an hour. So he he will be making close to a hundred thousand. He's gonna have he's gonna have uh, three weeks on where he's gonna live in the truck and uh, one week off. So he'll get to he'll get to go home for a week out of the month. I know a lot of guys do that. I said, well, it's better than four weeks on and one week off, you know. So I think that that's a good deal for him, but. Yeah, I just wanted to chime in and uh, let you guys know, especially anybody looking to uh, get into the uh, oil field, that you know there's different there's different ways to do it. You know, you, you don't have to uh, haul sand or haul crude. Uh, you can also haul water and make good money at it. You know, it depends on where you're at. You know, the Permian Basin price is pretty good. So, he's going to be doing pretty good, I believe. But, you know, after he gets down there, I'm going to talk to him again. I'll call him and see how he's doing. See if that job's holding up to his expectations. And I'll let you guys know. But in the meantime, we got a load of meat. Going down to Dallas, two drops. Then we're going to pick up another load, and uh, that takes me back towards New Mexico, close to the plant. And then we'll pick up another meat, and we're going to head south. Uh, another load of meat, and we're going to we're going to head south. So. And that's a pretty good paying load. Oh man, everybody's fighting for a for a parking spot, and there's only a couple left. I got this one. Went on break. I went in, took care of some business, and well, you know, I got me a couple pieces of pizza. Don't tell my wife, all right? Uh, I'm not supposed to be eating pizza. But uh, man, it looked good sitting there. It was fresh, freshly made. I couldn't pass it up. But well, I'd hate to end the video looking at this trailer. But he's waiting on this other guy to back up beside him, and there's two trucks behind him wanting to come in, trying to find a spot. So, anyways. I'll go ahead and end it here. I'll check back with you guys later, probably tomorrow. And uh, remember, in trucking, 
is what I have on my uh, profile and trucking every cent counts especially when you own a truck so just remember that guys appreciate it